Plot the point negative three comma four on the coordinate plane, then select whether each statement below is true or false. For review on the coordinate plane below, the horizontal number line is the x-axis, and the vertical number line is the y-axis. Every ordered pair is in the form x comma y. To plot the point at negative three comma four from the origin, we move left three units to negative three on the x-axis, and then because the y-coordinate is positive four, we move up four units. This is the location of the point negative three comma four. Now let's look at the statements. A, the point is located in quadrant two. Quadrant one is where the x and y coordinates are positive, which is the upper right hand corner. And then from here, we label the quadrants counterclockwise. This is quadrant two, this is quadrant three, and this is quadrant four. And we normally use Roman numerals for the quadrant numbers. Notice the given point is in quadrant two. Statement A is true. For statement B, the given point is a reflection of the point three comma four over the x-axis. Let's first plot the point three comma four. To plot this point from the origin, we move right three units and then up four units. This is the location of the point three comma four. And now let's reflect this across the x-axis and see if it's the same as the given point. To reflect this point across the x-axis, it's as if we fold the coordinate plane across the horizontal number line or the x-axis, which means this point would end up four units below the x-axis, which would be here. The location of this point would not be the same as the given point, and therefore statement B is false. But notice how if we did reflect this point across the y-axis, it would end up three units to the left of the y-axis here, which is the given point but it does state a reflection across the x-axis, and therefore the statement is false. C, the given point is a reflection of the point at negative three comma negative four over the y-axis. Let's first plot the point at negative three comma negative four. From the origin, we move left three units, and then down four units. This is the point, negative three comma negative four. And the statement is the given point here in blue is a reflection of the point negative three comma negative four over the y-axis. If we fold the coordinate plane across the vertical axis or y-axis, this point is going to end up three units to the right of the y-axis, which is here, which is not the location of the given point in blue, and therefore statement C is false. But again, notice how if we were to reflect the point negative three comma negative four across the x-axis, it would end up four units above the x-axis, which is a location of the given point. But again, because the statement says a reflection over the y-axis here, statement C is false. For D, the given point is the same location as the point four comma negative three. To plot the point four comma negative three from the origin, we move right four units and then down three units, which we can clearly see is not the same location as the point negative three comma four, statement D is false. The final statement, statement E, the given point is a reflection of the point three comma negative four over the y-axis and then over the x-axis. So we will first plot the point three comma negative four from the origin, we move right three units and down four units. Now we want to reflect this point over the y-axis and then over the x-axis. If we reflect this over the y-axis, we will end up three units to the left of the y-axis, which is here. From here, we reflect the point across the x-axis, and therefore the point will end up four units above the x-axis, which is the location of the given point. Statement E is true. I hope you found this helpful.